What's up people? Welcome to Programming Career. Today I'm going to talk about a very easy problem. So the story is recently I have had myself interviewed to a company and they were asking some pretty good programming questions and at the end of the interview one of the interviewer said I'm gonna ask you a very easy question and that is you are given an integer you have to print to that integer from zero okay so I was like this is very easy problem so I started to solve the problem like this here I have written the hello world program I'm deleting it so the way I have solved the problem is like this I'm taking input from the terminal using scanner And after that, I'm just using a for loop to print from 0 to that number like this. So when they ask me the question and ask me to solve the problem and I solve this way and as you can see here in the terminal I'm entering my input is 12 and the result is 0 to 12 so this is good I thought my answer was very right and this was very easy question but then then the interviewer asked me to enter an input of negative number since they said the input is integer so if I enter a negative number here like minus 12 it is doing nothing so even though I thought the question was very easy even though it is easy but I didn't solve the problem at my first chance so here today my lesson from this tutorial is when you are asked to solve the problem first of all you understand the question and if you have any question please ask them okay so the interviewer said to me that you should have asked the question first okay so now i've got the point that where was my fault my fault was because i didn't ask to clarify that if the input will be negative or positive or zero okay so here to solve this problem I have this approach first I'll check if the number is positive or negative okay so to do that after taking the input I'm using a flag int flag equal to zero if the number is zero and then I'm using the conditional statement if and is greater than zero then flag equal to one else if n is smaller than zero then flag equal to minus one so now I know if the number is negative, positive or zero. Okay. So after knowing that, what I have to do is I'll just mod the value of n. That means n equal to So since I'm using math.avs function, now the value of n is always positive. Now I'm putting the for loop under a conditional statement like this. If, if flag is 1, 
then do this and I'll put the for loop here since the flag is one and the number is positive so I just have to print the number and else if flag is minus one then I'll print this minus and then plus i okay but here the problem here is this will start start from zero and a redundant minus will be printed before zero so to prove that inside the flag equal equal minus one i am starting the loop from one and first i'm printing system dot out dot print line zero okay and here we go this is the solution and if the flag is something else i mean the flag is zero print system dot out dot print line so number is zero okay so let's run this and see what happens i'm entering minus 12 and it's printing from 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 to minus 12 okay let's run again and put 10 it's printing from 0 to 10 and again let's run and enter 0 and say the number is 0 which is a wrong input okay so now we got it so my advice is every time you interview for technical positions first of all you have to clearly understand the question if you need any help to understand the question better please ask them a question then you will not miss make mistakes like me okay if you think you are helped with the video please subscribe to my channel so i'll be motivated to make more videos like this thanks a lot for watching my videos and see you in the next time